guys, welcome back. Now your boy be this Adam Slink. I hope you guys are doing okay. Don't forget to like this video, comment, share it on all social media platform. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook at Adam Slink. Me now, make sure you subscribe and click the notification to get updates anytime, any day. I upload a new one. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching this video from. And uh, let's discuss, guys. Let me start by saying this. My grandma and my granddad. My grandma from my mom's side and my granddad from my, in fact, our grandmothers, majority of them, you'll find out that they have numerous children from different men, from different women. In fact, my own dad never knew his own father. It was uh, on the picture they show him his father. My dad was staying with his brother, his stepbrother, thinking that was his father. Never knew that that was his brother. So all those people gave birth. Numerously, like, they just scattered them everywhere. In fact, no love. That's why you, you don't say love be between our uncles. No love at all. They hate each other. Well, the answers of seeing this, I want to trace it down to... Nigeria fashionist Tony Lawani, who recently got married and she's pregnant. She posted a picture, a baby born picture. She's about to give birth, and uh, if she gave birth, if she gives birth, by the grace of God, that would be her third child for her third husband. And uh, when she posted this picture, she wrote, I think I'm the most mocked parent out there get what my crime is having kids from separate dads well if doing that we keep my kids if doing that we give me kids like and he mentioned this uh two kids name i will make the mistake all over and over again because i don't believe because you failed once or twice you shouldn't have the right to love again See, when it comes to all this nasty-ish, you people think you're right to mock me. It doesn't move me at all. I've grown tough skin. That's what you people have taught me to do. So I do me and what makes me happy. No matter how much you saw my name, the world people who mean well see how hardworking I am at my various craft and see how... I strive, various crap daily. Imagine if I listen to such nonsense. You all have to say, with my kids be where they are today, will they be making you happy? Call the crap. See, if I like, I will have six kids from different dads, from different reasons. So far, it makes me happy. If the next one mess up, I will move on again. It's like you people don't know me. I don't like any anyone or anything holding me down. And I don't care what anyone has to say. When something does not make me happy again, I move on. I'm not one of those that die in silence. So please, you lot that don't have, that don't even have your life together, are the ones who knows how other people should be living their life. I don't care what you all have to say. You can't control my life because I'm in charge of it. Live and let live. My life is my business, not yours. I'm too focused to be distracted. Well, she said, even if she has, uh, even if she has uh, six kids for six dads, as long as that makes her happy, that she's going to do it. That because one mistake doesn't mean that she shouldn't move forward. And because one loved life ends bad doesn't mean that she should not love again and give birth again. Well, it's quite understandable, guys. Kindly leave a comment below. It's our life, though. Then check out what this lady said concerning what... Uh, uh tina was saying this one is coming from reality tv star she said no woman set off to have kids from different men it doesn't make us happy 
agreed it may be circumstance and mistake but please let let us avoid normalizing both exactly our own parents our grandparents our grandma did it out of uh circumstance like uh they might just tell them okay since they were practicing this stuff if your husband died then you marry from the family you marry the the brother to that man or the cousin all those people they normally do that stuff so it was the tradition that actually made them to have those kids because ordinarily uh as as they were growing old they they saw that yes they it it, it is no use to have so many kids with different partners i myself i think one of the, those things that would devastate me in my life is having children with so many people i rather have one kid one kid with just one person that's why you see me i'm 31 and uh i'm not i don't have kids i'm not married yet because <laughs> i had the opportunity to have kids with so many girls but uh i'm still me but uh, you know exactly what you want though and uh, let's talk about talking about marriage let's talk about uh football uh gallo versus his wife at this war well they are currently having some major issue and uh recently you know uh Igalo has been traced to so many numerous women out there online go to this lover and you will see how this lover is currently balling on his on uh Igalo's, uh case you know exposing him well his wife almost his ex-wife now uh she's she she uh, wrote this recently she said this one are saying i am pain no she said sorry she said he who live by the sword dies by the sword matthew 26 verses 52 then she also said congrats igalo on the arrival of your baby february i just did receive court email now we don't marry father abraham still one legal legally married wife two baba five kids and some slay queens still they fight to enter your need meant at this one baby you are doing well then the, she also said this one uh, this ones are saying i am pain you are mad now we still the rule legal wife if i decide to take everything today nothing to happen congrats the new dad and f off tell papa to pay his baby mama child support she took him to court well igalo uh, his wife just uh recently uh, said that uh, he may have welcomed another baby with uh with a woman and that the woman allegedly took him to court well igalo respond to this and uh, he simply wrote you can never bring a good man down. Who God has blessed, no one can cause. Well, don't forget his wife said to Baba the second. Why did she have to mention to Baba's name? Two faced Dibia is just staying there. Two faced Dibia learned his mistake a long time ago. <laughs> Those people having numerous kids with different different partners. Please, uh and after this another person will start making the same mistake you you won't feed the heat now just just wait just just calm down wait and let those kids grow up then you will understand and also people have money they have money they can you know go out there to sleep with numerous girl, women so try as much as possible to use protection <laughs> also check out a lady narrating how she met her husband she said he was dating my friend, so he came to pick us up because he was taking us to a party. I sat in the passenger seat and my friend at the back. We spoke a lot because we were next to each other. We realized we liked each other, drove back and let my friend home and went to the party together. My friend found her home boyfriend eventually and they got married. My partner and I have two kids. He cheated now and again, but he always know where home is. 
you collect your your husband <laughs> your your friends your your friend boyfriend now you are married to that friend guy destiny 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 can't be stopped no matter how the story might be disgusting not not right but when destiny eats you it cannot be stopped this is a woman living happily with a man she stole from a friend and uh, this one now, uh, Bob Briskey recently declared herself the biggest, richest girl in Nigeria. She said, no girl in this country is richer than Bob Briskey. never. Let's start from her. Holding my hair alone worth over 100 million naira. You all know I buy hair like water. I don't repeat her now. Nah. Let's talk about my jewelry. Pure gold. Let's go to my car. Top notch. My chin. Now let's go to how Bob charged for ambassadors and deal. His brother charged 10 million for six months deal. Ask all the brand. I'm working how much they pay me. And she called herself the biggest, richest girl in town. Do you agree with that? Now let's go to Toto DK. Toto DK was trying to warn some set of people. She said, Some of you fans need strong beating with broom. You insult a mother like me. They insult your mother back. You say the insult is too big to insult back. The thunder that we fire you is doing press hop in Mushi. All these homecoming ones girl will not kill somebody. Honestly, we need to help the public respect our family by respecting ourselves in public. For so those of you who are insulting people, celebrities, and you think they won't insult back or leaving a comment on their comment section, and when they insult back, they say, oh, why is she responding? Is she going have responded now? That's the kind of people that she is referring to. And now let's talk about uh, to DK recently who received an award from his own son as the uh, an award for the best dad to the DK is a woman and uh, over the years she says she has been the one solely responsible for his for her son and that uh, she is the father and she has she is the mom of her son she has repeatedly said that church ill uh, her husband does not uh uh, bring money or or bring any child support for their son well I, I don't think that might be the entire story because I do not think I do not want to believe there's a father out there there's church here and I don't want to say a father because there are many fathers out there who does not take care of their son I don't want to believe church here we just ignore no 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 I don't I don't seem like somebody who we just who had wholeheartedly ignore his son maybe something is wrong maybe he has tried as much as possible to be involved and that's why you see him time to time wishing his son happy birthday whenever he has a birthday or i just i i think the woman completely shut him off and also there's this rumor that will be going around that church will be arrested very soon you see your your boy your your plus which probably is a fraud star so many many other things and there's one particular hotel in Ghana, that's uh, they said they're gonna drag Churchill to court, according to bloggers. Well, uh, for not paying and also damaging the name of the uh, of the hotel. Well, guess what? I just received a proof that Churchill is not owning that hotel, he paid for everything, everything dime. So where are all these fake rumors coming from? Where are all those things coming from this sabotaging someone's name and trying to run someone's down, someone like Churchill? Well, guys, uh, don't worry. There's a good news coming very, very soon. And uh, the end of this whole propaganda surrounding his name will definitely come to an end one day. Just hold on and stay blessed. And uh, this next one is coming from Techno. 
I gave a reason why it cannot simply be with one woman. A lot of times I, I, I wonder who is to blame. Because like really when I think about it, like when I watch movies, or may probably read a novel, or hear like a nice story, it just feels good. It just It's just interesting. Like a man and a woman should spend the rest of their life together. Like it just kind of makes sense. But in reality, it's just weird. Because like I want to love one person and be with them, right? But it's impossible because y'all women are just so beautiful and it's just like so many beautiful women everywhere around the world. I understand, brother. I understand. That's why uh, there's this saying, the beautiful ones are not yet born. I understand. It's really, really hard on this generation now. Beautiful women, sexy. So many. Social media is exposing. No social media everywhere. So many, many distractions. You are trying so hard to stay faithful to your girlfriend or faithful to your boyfriend as well. You see some other handsome girls or some other beautiful girls out there distracting you. Huh? It's really, really hard. It's really hard. In fact, nowadays, eh, if you tell someone you are in a relationship, you accidentally tell a guy you are in a relationship and you are beautiful. You just indirectly that guy to try the other and it's going to pull more for it come for you harder it's it's yeah uh, it's very very surprising and I check out this one this one is quite ah i'm shocked so here's a 65 years old man who reportedly raped is 85 years old step mom the so police need to stay the virus i've, I've Arrested a 65 year old man for allegedly raping his stepmom twice in Indo Unsi area of the state. It was gathered that the suspect had on June 15 allegedly had canal knowledge of his 85 year old stepmom in her room. The command spokesperson, Mr. Sunday, in a statement on Thursday, said the suspect, who is a son, to the victim late husband on the fateful day entered the victim room to assist her in applying herbal medicine on her back to ease her pain the victim alleged that after applying the herbal medicine on her leg the suspect forcefully had sexual intercourse with her ah. <laughs> the issue is irritating guys <laughs> irritating ha you mean while your father was alive you were hiding your stepmom you see you <laughs> this world <sighs> crazy well uh guys can leave your comment below and uh to hear this video check out what this this beggar with his wife she, he said, I have three wives and many children. This beggar is boasting that the federal government, the government should come to his head, that he need a house, that he has t uh, that uh, he have uh, three wives and many children. The king of blind beggar in Oyo state, al Haji Ibrahim Muhammad, who was among hundreds of beggars recently relocated from Sambo area of Ibadan to a newly built resettlement center by the state government had disclosed that he has three wives and plenty of children. Speaking in an interview, the Nigeria Tribune, he said, we want the government to build us separate rooms for those of us with wives and children. I have three wives and plenty of children. And as a married man, it is not ideal and appropriate for me to be sleeping in a general room with my wives. So I am begging the government to help us construct rooms for married couples among us. Though the present expansion rooms here can individually uh, accommodate more than 20 people at a time, government should build different rooms for halls that have wives having a separate room accommodation is very important. They will build you room 
for your children and you, and you are still boasting that you need another separate room. A beggar with many wives. This country, you see, uh, there are so many things. Uh, Kai, you are even lucky, my man. You have many wives and many children. You are even boasting about it. Thank you guys for watching. It's a boy again. I'm Sling. Have a wonderful day and stay blessed.